Hey YouTube, it's Grace, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I completely redid my chalkboard right here, which isn't even a chalkboard anymore. <laughs> I started off having this design, um, it was there for quite a while, and I decided to change it to this design. And it took a couple of attempts and several days, but all in all I'm really happy with how it turned out, and yeah, I don't want to spoil anything, so let's just get into the video. This drawing has been on my chalkboard for almost a year now, and I've decided that it is time to change it. I have gathered up all of my chalk and chalk pens, and even did some little swatches, and I decided on the skull underwater painting from Minecraft, surprise, surprise. My first step is gonna be figuring out how to actually get this off, because... <laughs> I think I'm just gonna time lapse this because this is going to take um, a long time. I have been trying to get this off for about 30 minutes now, and this is the most that I'm getting, um, so I think I'm just gonna do the other one on top of it. I'm gonna start off by redoing the grid. Um, so I just measured the length and the height of my chalkboard. It is 43.5 inches wide and 41.5 inches tall. So I'm just gonna take those numbers and divide them by 32 since that's how many pixels are in the painting that I want to make. Um, and that's the size of each pixel. I just finished marking out where all of the lines are gonna go around all four sides and now I'm <laughs> now I'm starting to connect them, which is once again a bit of a process, so I'm going to time lapse this. My arms are so tired, but it's done, and now I can start with the actual design. So I started doing the plants around the edges and I also did the very lightest part of the skull. And I have to be really careful because um, I don't have a lot of shades of blue so I need to keep them in the right order. So I'm starting with the lightest and then working my way down. Another progress check. The chalk markers make this take so much longer, but the colors look so much brighter, so I just feel like I have to. <laughs> okay, I'm about five hours into this painting, um, but the problem is I absolutely hate it, so I think I'm going to start over. I just don't have enough different colors of chalk to make this work, so we are going to do something else. Also, I tried some different techniques to get like different opacities and shades, and it just looks really, really bad. I'm thinking about not even doing a chalk art thing at this point, because I'm kind of just tired of redoing this thing over and over again. I think I might just paint it. After scrubbing religiously, this literally will not come off. Um, so that's as far as we're getting, and now I have this huge pile of chalk to clean up. Okay, it's the next morning now, I've given it some thought, um, and I think my best choice of action is to end up painting it, like I said yesterday, but I need to explain why. So I've had this chalkboard since I was like 14, I think, and it's not a real chalkboard, we just used chalk paint over the existing wall. Um, but we don't have any more of that chalk paint, so I can't add another layer of it and like redo the chalkboard part and adding chalk just isn't like opaque enough to cover up the old design. And trust me, I tried scrubbing this for literally like 40 minutes. It's not coming off. So I am going to tape the outside and prime this. Okay, it is all taped now and I have the paint, so let's do this. Here it is all primed. I just took the tape off and now I'm gonna wait for it to dry the rest of the way before adding the grid. The paint is dry and I just finished marking out where all of the lines are going to go for the grid. I decided this time to just do 30 by 30 instead of 32 by 32 because the border is actually this exact color. Um, so I figured that it would add um, more 
to the painting. Just delete it as it is. Here is how the grid turned out. I'm gonna start painting later this afternoon because I have to go take some finals right now. <laughs> Finished school for today, so that is good. I just brought up a whole bunch of paint from my basement. And now I'm going to start by marking in the blacks and the darkest colors and just lining it up with the grid. The next darkest color is this super dark navy blue, which I just marked in, and now I'm gonna fill those in. I've been painting for a bit over two hours at this point. I added in a couple more shades of blue and three different shades of gray. I just didn't film it because I thought it'd be very repetitive, um, but next I'm going to focus on the top right corner. I'm just going to do this solid blue color and add in some more details once I'm done with that. Okay, it's now the next day. Since the last clip, I filled in quite a bit more of the background. You can see some greens, teals, uh, light blues, and I just did that grayish blue. Um, so here's my progress right now. My next goal is going to be filling in the actual school part. So I'm going to start with the lightest blue, I think, and then work my way to the outside. making pretty good progress. I'm also really happy with how the paint is like covering the wall. The paint is pretty thick. I might have to like touch up with the second coat in some places, but everything's pretty good except for this dark green, which kind of sucks. I'm getting to the very tedious and slightly annoying part where I have to fill in all the details, like this light green color. There's only a few pixels, but I had to like mix a separate color for it. just finished the first coat and the paint is covering pretty well but I definitely will be adding a second coat um, in most places even if it's not on the entire color but just to kind of fill in the spots that are a bit thin. I just realized how cool it looks in my mirror um, but anyways I'm done painting for today so I will finish this tomorrow. It's now the next morning and I'm starting by filling in all of the thin spots in the blue paint. I just did it in this corner it's still drying so the colors don't match up but as you can see I don't really need to do a full second coat I just need to touch up the little spots. I think I finished filling in all the thin spots on the paint, so now I'm moving on to some shading. You see here I added some slightly darker shades around the outside of the school. I just mixed in a little bit of black with the blues I used. So I'm going to continue doing that with some of the other colors that sort of have a whole bunch of the same one next to each other. Funny story, so I just went to my basement to get some dark blue paint to cover up the screws in the border because they were shiny and I didn't want them to stick out like that. But I didn't just find blue paint. I. I found chalkboard paint, which was the only reason that I painted this because I thought we didn't have any. But um, my hand hurts way too much to start over again, so I'm, I'm just going to finish this and feel weird feelings. <laughs> Hello, it's me again. It's been a couple days. I didn't really record any other clips because I was basically done at that point, but here is the grand reveal. This is how the painting turned out. I'm really happy with how clean the lines are and how like thick the paint was. You can't really see through it anymore. Here it is from further back and right next to my door. The pixels are actually really close in size, so I feel like the proportions match a lot better than the other one. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Here is the painting in all of its glory. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did enjoy making it and I'm really happy with how this painting sort of turned out. I feel like this video was slightly chaotic. 
but I feel like that adds to the character of the painting, just knowing its history and everything it went through. If you're interested in seeing any of my other art, check out my Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. I'll have it linked below, but that's my username on pretty much every platform, not Grace Live. Also, if you are interested in trying something like this for yourself, I have all sorts of other videos for lots of different Minecraft paintings I've made, um, as well as tutorials, so check those out. I have them in a playlist uh, on my channel. And actually, I used to have the exact same painting inside my closet, which is off camera, but I decided to paint over it because this one is way better. And that is going to be next week's video, so stay tuned for that if you are interested. But yeah, that concludes this video. Uh, so thank you for watching, and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!